Before we actually dive into editing with Final Cut Pro, I wanted to take a moment to talk about how Final Cut interacts with files that are stored on your computer or on an external hard drive. So what we're going to do here is actually add a clip to Final Cut. I'm going to show you how it's interacting. And don't worry too much about the process of it. I want you to start to understand how this interface of Final Cut is interacting with the files behind the scenes. This is an advanced topic, but I want to bring it up early so that you can start to understand it because a lot of people get into issues with the way that their media is stored because they don't understand it. And that's where I want to try to avoid some of that by introducing you to this. So I'm actually going to resize Final Cut here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see what I have on the desktop. And I have this one video clip stored here on the desktop. So I'm actually going to bring that into Final Cut by just dragging and dropping it right into the event that's here. And it's added it here to Final Cut. So what a lot of people don't understand is how Final Cut is actually storing that media. Because we have this right now untitled library. And we're going to talk more about libraries later again. But this untitled library is actually saving this media. So if I right click or control click on this file, we get an option here that says reveal in finder. And if I do that, it brings up a finder window. And if we remember from our earlier lesson, we have our path bar at the bottom. And I can actually see this video clip that's an original media file was added into the untitled library. This is a little purple things of Final Cut Pro library. And that library is stored in the movies folder. So what that means is when I dragged this video clip from the desktop into Final Cut, it actually made a copy of that video clip. So if I were to delete this video clip that's on the desktop, I'm just going to do command delete to move it to the trash. Nothing happens in Final Cut. It's totally fine because Final Cut is not looking at that original that was on the desktop. It's looking at the copy that it made into Final Cut. If I were to delete this original that's stored in the library using the finder, if I delete that clip and then return to Final Cut, notice we get a missing file message. Because Final Cut now has no idea where that clip is, even though we moved it to the trash. So let me go back to the finder. I'm going to do Command Z to undo that move and place it back into the library and click out of this. So why do I bring that up? Why do I show you that? I mean, it's a very advanced uh, topic. But I wanted to you, introduce you to clip connections and how Final Cut is connecting this little clip that we see here in the browser to the actual media that's stored on your computer. So just understand, when we go to import media, it's going to make a copy into Final Cut into the library. But we also have an option to leave it wherever it was stored. So we can actually say leave it on the desktop. But then if you delete or move those desktops, you're going to, going to lose that connection to them. So you want to be very deliberate about any of the files that you're moving and copying. And you want to have a plan for how you're storing your media. If you're new to Final Cut, which is why you're probably watching this course, you're going to want to let Final Cut do the organization for you. And that's going to be inside of the library, as opposed to manually organizing everything yourself. Now, that's just a general uh, kind of advice that I give, or you know, a general, hey, you should do this. Everyone is a little bit different in the way that they're going to be editing and the type of projects they're working on. So you may be someone who would benefit from manually organizing your content. If that's the case, reach out to me directly using Final Cut Pro help at me.com and we can create a plan for that. But for now, just understand that these media files that you see in, inside of Final Cut are just links to the actual files that are stored on your hard drive somewhere. So I want to make that kind of distinction a little bit clear there and then just start introducing you to that. So just don't delete things outside of Final Cut assuming they're inside of Final Cut Pro. I think that's that's the term a lot of people use to me. They, they, they say, oh, I thought that was inside of Final Cut Pro. Well, nothing's really stored in Final Cut Pro. Nothing's stored in the app. 
It's just referencing all of those files, whether they're in the library or somewhere else in the finder on, on a hard drive somewhere. So that's kind of the overview I wanted to put up there and show you the clip connections initially because it's easy to break a link, which we did earlier by moving something to the trash. And if you do break those links, there is an option inside of Final Cut to relink those files. So you'll see there's an option here that says relinks file. So if something's selected, you can actually go file, relink files, and there are ways to get those connections back and to relink to other media. However, if you can avoid having to do relinks altogether, which is why I wanted to put this video here, you'll save yourself a lot of time. So a lot of Final Cut to organize things, you won't have to worry about the media files themselves. The other part I, I want to do throw out there, and another reason I brought this up now, is once we get into using Final Cut Pro, we're going to use the Finder and everything outside of Final Cut Pro very, very limitedly, if at all. Uh, we want to do everything inside of Final Cut. That's what makes it powerful, and you don't have to worry about all this mess that you're making inside of the Finder. So that's just an overview of how Final Cut is interacting with those files on your hard drive and what happens when you remove or delete those files.